Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me. It's it's. I was about to say me, Q. It's it's me, Joshua, Joshua Peck, from Josh and Drake. No, it's me, Goose. But how you doing? I know you can hear the fan. The fan is on where I live right now. It's super hot, so I'm gonna keep that on. Uh, but I, I, I gotta I gotta be real with you guys. I really wanted to make a video today, but unfortunately, due to world events, I felt like it was inappropriate, and it's also Easter, so yeah. But I didn't want to leave you hanging, and I didn't want to just give you another video that said, "Hey, look, I'm streaming." Instead, I'm gonna make an entire queue based off of the fact that yes, I am streaming right now, and you can check me out on twitchtv slash forward slash goose underscore boost how the fuck do people remember that kind of shit anyways you can watch me there i'm playing hollow knight as you can see in the background this is hollow knight footage but for now we're gonna do a mini queue where i take some of your questions from discord and if you want to ask a question you don't want to make a discord you want to join my server you don't want to join my server rather uh then you could just put a hashtag queue in any of my videos and then follow it up with your question and i'll answer it next week or whenever i can all right thanks for thanks for understanding you sons of bitches all right let's start let the Let's start it. Let's do it. How do you stop? All right. So the first, uh, little, hey, ooh, the first question is asked by Snazzy Azzy. He asked, "What if you and Jelly did a podcast?" I don't know. What if we did that? I don't know if you guys would ever be interested in that. Uh, you guys have. You. I don't think you've heard Jelly's voice in a long time in any of my videos. Um, it's been really long since we made a video together, maybe like two years, holy shit. Um, but yeah, like, if you guys are ever interested in us doing a podcast, we'll probably do it, but we currently don't have any interesting ideas for a podcast. We don't just want to do a podcast where we talk about shit, and I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I, I want to do something interesting instead of just talking. I feel like that's what cues are. I just talk and I answer your questions, I talk about my feelings and do whatever I want. My sound panels on the wall are starting to fall off. This is pissing me off right now. Holy shit, I'm gonna just rip this shit off. All right. Anyways, yeah, that, it, it'd be fun. It, it's a fun idea, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't know if we'll ever do one, but if you guys are interested, maybe we'll do one. Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for your question, Snazzy Azzy. Also, thanks for the art last time. Thank you. You're a good fan. Next question is by Aradia with Beans. Uh, Aradia asked, uh, What do you think of the FGC fighting game community? Are there games you follow in particular? I vaguely remember you talked about the Smash community, but would love to hear you get more into detail. Um, well, uh, the FGC is a, in its current state. I think it's healthier than ever before, but uh, I am sort of worried as to where it'll be going. I made a video quite a while ago about the state of the FGC and how there's so much of it that's like, it, it doesn't necessarily uh, support the pro gamers and it's very anti, uh, as, as weird as it sounds, it's, it's very anti pro gamer. You know, like it, they, they don't like to support their own players. They don't li like to support pro players of the FGC. This includes the brands, this includes the tournaments, um, and it's not because they don't want to, it's just that they can't. It, 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 giving large, you know, large prize pools to these people and, and having a large prize pool it obviously takes a lot of money. And you can't provide that on a weekly basis and you can't provide that on a monthly basis or even on a yearly basis that's that's hard to give when most of your sponsors don't really like the games that you're playing or the sort of attitude that's going on in your community the fgc is much more hardcore i feel than say dota or counter-strike um, I, I feel like it's much more in your face as opposed to those games because those games are team oriented whereas in fighting games it's more one-on-one -on -one actions and you are focused on one player and uh, 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 you know other other people within the FGC there are stories of hundreds of gamers hundreds of, of pro players and you know all of them uh, whereas in League of Legends or uh, some other fucking MOBA game, whatever, whatever's popular, Overwatch, right? There's all these teams, and you remember the team names, but you vaguely remember the people within the team, and they're, they're more 
shadowed by those other team members that they have in those teams. At least that's what I speak. I, I never really watched Overwatch stuff or uh, Dota stuff or MOBA stuff. Even though I do play Dota and League of Legends quite a lot, uh, I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Honestly, I'm, I'm not. I, I just find it really boring to watch as opposed to the FGC stuff, which... Uh, can last like about 6 to 20 minutes a uh, fucking dota game can last up to two hours and that's just one round it's crazy so i i very much prefer the fgc as where it is right now i, I i'm not really keeping up really that much uh i last time i left the smash community or rather where i left off at the smash community it seems pretty healthy it doesn't seem as uh as uh, what's the word i guess fissured <laughs> they don't look fucked up as they used to uh you know melee always went down smash force throat smash four used to attack the people who were into melee and i'm sure that's still going on but probably not to the degree that it used to be and that probably has to do with the fact that smash ultimate is just subjectively better than smash four i think a lot of smash four veterans were just trying to compete against melee even though it was like a an uphill battle it was just it was such a struggle to keep up with melee who was just growing and growing and growing and they're just a far superior game in terms of spectator uh, view uh, viewability it's just it's just a much better game to watch whereas smash 4 was so slow and just fucking boring to watch uh with smash ultimate complete opposite way better the way better matches and it, it looks cooler. And also there's a new roster of people playing. I'm not just talking about the, the, the people within the game. I'm just talking about people who are playing the game. You know, old veterans from Smash 4 are starting to retire. Um, people who play Melee are now starting to play Smash Ultimate. And new faces are showing up. So it's like, if you really want to get to the FGC and you don't really care about Street Fighter or um, Tekken or, or Blaze Blue or, or any anime fighter or whatever, um, I would really heavily suggest getting to the Smash Ultimate community now more than ever before like it is the the entry to this is it couldn't be any more beginner friendly like smash ultimate is such a awesome it's just an awesome game to play i mean there are some stuff that i don't agree with but uh there are things within the game the game mechanics itself that like i feel make it a much better uh spectator sport <laughs> that's so weird to say but it's like it's much better to watch and it's better to play and the online still sucks but i still love watching it so uh that's what i think of smash as as for like street fighter 5 and tekken I, I don't know i haven't kept up in a long time in a long time i think it's been like a year since i last actually watched fgc stuff and at any time any time i try to get into the fgc stuff man like uh, I, I i like always get the last minute notification that a, a tournament is going on and that fucking sucks because i'm like man i just really wanted to watch this man but i just missed it in fact i just learned today that there was a fucking tournament with melee and th i i missed that too today's the grand finals it's like why watch the grand finals i really like watching day one day two and then the grand finals not this little build up i, I know that's weird to say but it's like i just like watching every day i just like watching ah, man but i keep missing it i don't know how to keep up it's so many tournaments nowadays which is great it proves that it's healthier but i hope that the prize pools get better because i don't see the fgc growing if if people are getting paid dog shit every fucking tournament but thank you so much for the question all right uh i think the last question i did say this is a mini q right yeah well yeah i guess we could take two more questions it's a little too short uh, one question again by Snazzy Azzy, uh, was what happened to the sets in the videos? Uh, did I private them? I think I privated them. I don't know. I am not really into Let's Plays anymore, so I think that's what happened. That's it. For those of you who don't know, I used to be a Let's Player before I started doing commentary stuff. I'm not really, like, I'm not saying that I didn't like them, but I, I just don't think that they're uh, worth getting into anymore I, I love doing let's play stuff which is why i do live streams nowadays um but it, it doesn't seem worth it because i just didn't get that many views and i don't think anybody's actually interested in me doing the let's play so yeah um 
I I think I privated them, the sets in the videos. I, I don't know. Maybe I unlisted them, but if you're asking where they went, that probably happened. If you're asking, like, if I should make more, nah, not anymore. Sorry, but thank you so much for your question. Again, snazzy azzy. And I guess we'll take this as the final question of the day, which is by I can't pronounce that. I will not even try to pronounce that in fear that I will offend somebody from a foreign country. But anyways, this person asked what you think about 2016 YouTube or 2016 in general. Jesus Christ, I don't remember. 2016 YouTube was like such a blur. I was, I think I was doing Sombra ARG dev videos, right? I think that's where I was just in the height of Overwatch uh, and I was actually getting paid for YouTube stuff and that was pretty rad. That's why I started to take YouTube more seriously, but I think nowadays I take it a little too seriously because now I'm just upset with the craft that I make. So that's why I'm in a quasi little, uh, little, uh, hiatus right now. Anyways, um, 2016, was that the year that everyone thought was like total horseshit? Nobody liked it. It was like a horrible, horrible. Wait, wasn't that when Trump got elected? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't remember 2016 that much. I just remember that I I'm, I made money off of Overwatch for like a couple of years. Uh, for a couple of years, sorry, a couple of months. And uh, then I got bored with it. I didn't like the content I was making anymore, so I just started doing like straight up commentary. Um, that's when, you know, Goose, I think, came into Genesis and was like, he just came out of the woodwork from Jelly's renditions. Um, I started using him more, but now I start, I'm starting to notice, well, I didn't notice now, but I, I've been noticing within the past year or so, a lot of people are, are starting to use their avatars as like their commentary channel thing, and I hate it. Not only do I hate it because I hate everyone else's avatars, they don't look creative, they're badly drawn, or they're just like horrible dull colors and they look like shit and I hate them so much and they're always so cynical but also I hate the fact that everyone's doing it and I don't want to do it anymore that's why I want to try something else but I don't know where that something else is leading me to I know some of you guys miss it but I don't know I just feel lazy whenever I like I feel like Goose the animated character uh, enables me to be lazier with my video edits so I'd rather if I were to be lazy in my video edits I'd rather be lazy and have fun than be lazy and just feel like an empty carcass honestly so I don't know I think I think that's the that's the summary of 2016 the birth of Goose as an avatar and Overwatch also maybe Trump got elected I think Right? 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 I don't remember when he got elected, the motherfucker. When did he get elected? Was it 2016? Yeah, I moved in with my girlfriend 2017. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh, fuck. How's that going for him? Well, anyways. Thank you all so very much for watching. That was a cue. Uh, I, like I said, if you want to check out... Or, well, check out... No, no, no. If you want to submit a question, go ahead and do the hashtag Q on any of my videos. Just... Leave that comment and then you will, uh, you know, you'll probably see your question up next week or whenever I'll make another queue. Or if you want to hit me up on Twitter with a queue, just uh, mention me on my Twitter handle. That is Goosenpai uh, and leave me a hashtag queue and I'll see it there. Or there's Discord or there's Twitch, which I'm doing right now. Did you know that I'm live right now on Twitch playing Hollow Knight? I hope you know that. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, y'all. I love you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. That was an awkward way. No, 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 wait, 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 hang on. I love you. I, I love you guys. All right, you're good. I love you. Take care. Be happy. You can do it. You can go, you can, whatever dark shit you're going through right now, I assure you, you're going to get past this shit. You, you ain't no bitch. I know you. You're subscribed to me. I ain't no bitch. You ain't no double bitch like me, which I'm not. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. Love you guys so much. Goodbye.